Hey, Bishop Jakes. How What's are you? What's up, man? Oh, man, it's so good to see you. It's, it's so better good. to see you. How you doing? Looks like you're out in the sun. I'm looking at him as a saint going to a party that ain't nothing but sin. The focus on Diddy's legal troubles never goes away. And then none other than Pastor T.D. Jakes shows in. Just when you thought the tea could get much hotter, we're delving into the most recent legal dispute that is appending the music mogul's world, in which Diddy is once again in the center of attention due to claims of sexual assault against a male music producer and who's going to make an appearance. Yes, Pastor T.D. Jakes, a well-known figure from Diddy's prior court cases. And who's going to make an appearance? Yes, Pastor T.D. Jakes, a well-known figure from Diddy's prior court cases. The plaintiff in this case is Rodney Jones. Rodney Jones, AKA Lil Rod, is the plaintiff in this case, and he's bringing the lawsuit against Diddy, Sean Combs, and several others. Let's bring you up to date on the most recent bombshell that has been shook Diddy's world, in case you have been living under a rock. Claims of drunkenness, violence, and game assault abound in this vile story, which has landed the music tycoon in yet another legal morass. Who is the courageous person approaching Diddy now? The music producer who worked closely on Diddy's 2023 Grammy-nominated record, The Love Record, is none other than Rodney Lil Rod Jones. Jones accuses Diddy of a long list of horrific crimes, including coercion and sexual assault, in a heartbreaking 73-page lawsuit. The length of this lawsuit and the number of things he claims Diddy done are astounding. Jones claimed that working with Diddy was nothing less than a nightmare. He alleges that he was the target of constant abuse, which included unwanted touching and advances towards sex. That's not all, though. Jones claims that in February 2023, while under the influence of alcohol, he woke up in a daze, naked, and in bed with two prostitutes, with Diddy supposedly waiting nearby. This is simply crazy, I guess. Um, so, uh, it's just crazy. Just read, read. Diddy, according to Jones, didn't stop there. Using threats of violence if they didn't cooperate, he allegedly forced Jones and his own son, Justin Combs, into getting sex workers for parties. And don't believe that to be the worst of it. With hundreds of hours of audio and video recordings, Jones says he has incriminating proof that Diddy and his group are doing illicit acts in several states. They're probably looking at these allegations and thinking, where are the videos? Where are these still shots that we're seeing in these complaints? And can we investigate it to see if there's more here, potentially criminal charges? You may be asking how Diddy handled these terrifying charges at this point. Seen Holly, his attorney, didn't take long to refute Jones' assertions, calling them outright fabrications. Holly audaciously declared that they had overwhelming, irrefutable evidence that Jones' claims are untrue. Folks, this roller coaster trip is far from done, so hang on to your hats. Jones is requesting an astounding $30 million in compensation. The stakes are higher than ever, and tensions are running high. Is this the beginning of the end for Diddy, or will he get back up stronger than before? The drama is just getting started, so grab a seat. Whatever I want, I get! Whatever I want, I get! We're going to spill all the tea. As fans of Die Part painstakingly examined the voluminous 73-page lawsuit that Jones have filed, they discovered a wealth of incriminating information that implicated not only Diddy, but also numerous other well-known individuals. Justin Combs, Diddy's son, Young Miami, and Cuba Gooding Jr. are just a few of the names that are making headlines. Everyone appears to be vulnerable to the barrage of charges encircling the founder of Bad Boy Records. However, what precisely is the bond that unites these unlike people? Let me introduce the infamous freak offs a term that has caused tremors in the entertainment sector. Rethink your assumption that you've heard everything. These secret parties, which Diddy is said to have organized, present a terrifying image of abuse and manipulation. Let's now unravel the layers of this bizarre story. It's no secret that tabloid rumors about Diddy's turbulent relationship with Kessie have long existed. 
that he controlled every aspect of her life. He is accused of frequently beating her and would hide her in hotel rooms for days until the bruising and signs of abuse were gone. Fans weren't prepared for the revelation of the true depth of the rabbit hole, though. In Jones's complaint, Diddy allegedly forced his then-girlfriend to take part in these so-called freak-offs, an allegation supported by Cassie's own heroine narrative. So he had her back into the corner, and he was, like, cussing her out with his hand in, his fit in her face. Later that night, Red, who was staying at Cassie's home, says she awoke to screaming. Diddy personally selected male prostitutes are waiting to pounce as Cassie is thrown into an unfathomable horror. Cassie's pleas for pity go unheeded as Diddy callously arranges each obscene encounter, forcing her to engage in sexual actions as her abuser watches. And I remember, like, I don't know if you know his, his, what his voice sounds like, but, like, I felt like I was in the presence of his monster inside. The tragedy does not, however, stop there. As revealed by Jones's lawsuit, Diddy has an unquenchable thirst for power. These illegal gatherings are shrouded in a menacing shadow of disaster, driven by allegations of drug, depravity, and compulsion. As Diddy tightens his hold on those unlucky enough to find themselves in his circle. I remember like looking in his eyes and I said to him, what did y'all do? Cause I could see that she was like really sedated. That was the first time I ever seen her. And Tiffany Red, Kessie's friend. Her shocking allegation only serves to highlight Diddy's extreme wickedness. Red provides insight into the real character of the guy behind the music by recounting Kessie's hushed admissions of torture and anxiety in a terrifying interview. Big Mims! Fans discovered a shocking discovery after they carefully examined the accusations. The purported participation of none other than Pastor T.D. Jakes. For those who do not know, T.D.D. Jakes is not your typical pastor. He is well known in the Christian world for his eloquent sermons and best-selling books. However, underlying the seeming piety is a man who is surrounded by scandal. For a considerable amount of time, there have been rumors circulating in tabloid circles regarding Jake's sexual orientation and personal life. Even while these kinds of things should be handled delicately and with consideration for privacy, the implication alone lends a mysterious quality to his role in Diddy's scandalous story. But the fire is being fueled by more than just conjecture. Recall the unsubstantiated rumors that went viral on the internet claiming that Jake attended Diddy's extravagant parties? It appears that there may be more to them than first appears. Even though Jake and his team have fiercely denied any involvement, the timing of these claims is extremely concerning particularly in view of Cassie's disclosures. So allegedly, Cassie has turned over evidence to the feds. Yes, to the feds. Let's now examine the charges made against Jake in more detail. In the widely shared TikTok video, user Miasia claims that Cassie sent the FBI information linking Diddy and Jake to improper behavior. It's here, yo bro, Cassie has turned over substantial amounts of evidence to the feds. I'm told that after Cassie had a long conversation with Blank, I have to protect even though there isn't any hard proof for these accusations, they have sparked a flurry of rumors regarding the pastor's possible involvement in Diddy's immoral behavior. And if we play back the tape a little more, we'll find a network of ties that connects Jake's to Diddy's inner circle. Their friendship is strong, spanning from small birthday celebrations to joint endeavors on Revolt TV. However, what does this signify for Jake's standing as a paragon of virtue and morality? as the public opinion weighs in on his purported role in Diddy's scandalous antics. Only time will tell. It's... <laughs> I know what usually happens at the Diddy party, or what we told this happened at the Diddy parties. We must not overlook Jake's own remarks in reaction to these grave charges. The pastor refuted the claims in a statement addressed to the congregation, refusing to give the rumors any legitimacy. When I have the opportunity to preach a truth, I will not use this hallowed day and this sacred pulpit to address a lie, he said, his voice unwavering in the face of difficulty. Still, there are unanswered issues in spite of his unwavering denial. Is Jake's genuinely able to put his old pal scandal behind him? What effect does this have on his standing as a spiritual leader too? Jake's is at a turning point in his life 
as he deals with the consequences of his suspected involvement in Diddy's various extramarital affairs and the shifting public opinion. The rumors have been becoming louder, resonating in the hearts of fans everywhere and rippling through the halls of power in Hollywood. Diddy's former bodyguard Gene Deal has long been an outspoken opponent of the music tycoon and others close to him. Deal hasn't held back in subsequent interviews, raising questions about Jake's claimed innocence. I've talked to, to reverends and priests, but they ain't never came to a party with me or nothing like that. And Deal isn't the only one stirring things up. For years, there has been much conjecture regarding Jake's connection to Diddy and his participation in the music mogul's lavish way of living. From extravagant birthday celebrations to intimate get-togethers at Diddy's opulent estate, Jake's has been a noticeable fixture in the rapper's inner circle. However, Jake's congregation is becoming more and more scrutinized as well. Can they make sense of the scandalous gossip about their beloved priest and his public persona? Will Jake come out on top, his reputation intact after the incident, or will the burden of conjecture prove to be too great to bear? One thing is certain when the public's decision is delivered. Diddy's issue is still enveloping his world and doesn't seem to be getting any better. Fans who are shocked and perplexed by the drama that is developing have expressed their dismay and contempt on social media. As one ardent commenter puts it, human nature is the problem. Humans always misuse their authority once they get to a certain point. Not a single person in human history has ever possessed a specific authority without abusing it. It's absurd. We are incredibly self-centered, egotistical beings. This emotion resonates on various media, appealing to dejected admirers who are struggling with the degradation of their idol's reputation. But even in the midst of all the despair, there remains a gleam of optimism. It nearly seems as though he cannot be taken down but he will be taken down, says a different commenter. I assure you that this is the beginning. This bold declaration so captures the determined will of all those who refuse to stand idly by in the face of injustice. The drumbeat of accountability intensifies as charges multiply and swirl, indicating that a reckoning is imminent. We now encourage you to join the discussion as we end up this wild journey through Diddy's sensational saga's turns and turns. What do you think about the accusations made against Diddy and Pastor T.D. Jake's involvement?